XRP is holding strong while the rest of the market is straight up struggling. We're going to talk XRP price along with Elizabeth Warren challenger John Deaton, big XRP friendly guy right there. He's got 80% of his wealth in one crypto. Is it XRP, ETH, BTC, SHIB, along with big time news that I have to share with you, strategic reserve assets people are buying and hodling due to the graphic nature of this program listener discretion is advised what's up dudes and chicks i'll tell you what's up xrp's holding its own but your comments come first and so do the ladies if you treat them right because they'll get your back if you do rob says my bank likes to block crypto as well did a story earlier about australian banks two of them now blocking payments to exchanges they're basically saying look we're telling you what to do with your money Go fuck yourself, Banks. Says, my bank likes to block crypto as well unless you jump through hoops and sometime consuming BS with the fraud department. They have no issue with the exchange withdraw to your account, though. All hypocrites. Just constantly remind them it's your money, not theirs. They don't stop you from withdrawing money from ATMs and casinos, do they? And they know you're guaranteed to freaking lose. The house always wins. Scumbag bankers hate you having self-custody of your funds. Banking is the biggest scam of all time. You bet your ass it is. Rock on, Rob. Peter Gosner says, traded all my XLM at 12 cents for WIF onto an XR Pre. Pretty good move in my opinion. I've been asking you what you've been doing with your XLM and most of you have said, I've been dumping it or swapping it. Now, XRP holding its own. Very happy, but look at the rest. I'm focusing mostly right here on this, this ETH. In Soul action, E3169 down 7.5%, Soul 175.65 down on the percentage. Market's getting beat up, but let's start talking about strategic reserve asset. And you gotta follow the money, okay? The news, the deets, it's sometimes found within deep these articles. Or I'll share it with you, and, and I'll share all my articles down below as well. World's largest BTC miner marathon buys $100 million to go full hodl mode. 100 million of BTC. CEO and Chairman Frederick Thiel announced this. What did he announce? Today, Marathon is proud to announce that to strengthen our strategy of holding BTC as our strategic treasury reserve asset, we have over the past month purchased 100 million in BTC and will now go full hot on. You're going, bro, this is not XRP. No, this isn't XRP, but we know BTC takes the rest of the market with it. So now if you're miners out there, are able to say, hey, you know what? We don't have to sell what we mine. We could just buy, we could mine, we could hodl a shitload of it, and we could start squeezing the market. Dude, what if miners across the board become healthier financially because they're seeing the prices now with BTC in the 60s? We're sitting here like, boring. And uh, miners are sitting there going, yo, bro, we're making tons of fucking bank. Strip club bank, like dumb AF bottle service bank, rolling up in a car that you rented like in CL65, AMG, something fat, 20s, big motherfucking rear meats on there because homegirls got twins spinning. Well, anyways, so if more miners out there are doing good, in which they are because the price is way high for what they're getting paid for what they're mining, more of them are going to be able to hodl. They're going to be able to mine and hodl. They're going to be able then to buy with the extra money that they're in profit with. And they are going to be able to squeeze the market. The miners have been on this since day one. For those of you following the channel for a while, you know, the miners have been spot on. I've been bringing up the articles of when they're selling, when they're holding and oh shit. They're holding. And they're going to get ready to squeeze you. No safe for it either, by the way. BTC miners, man, that's, that's why governments want to take them down. Because the miners know that if they can keep the energy costs in line and they can keep BTC at a certain price, they are making bank. They are printing fucking money. And it doesn't employ a lot of people. That's why the governments get pissed too. Elizabeth Warren, rival John Deaton, holds 80% of his net worth in BTC. So for those of you that said solar, XRP, or SHIB or any of that, you would be wrong. 80% of his stuff is in BTC with some holdings in ETH, Solana, and XRP. 
Eleanor Tourette is breaking this story. I will have her Twitter linked down below. Cat person she is. That's okay. I'm a dog person, but I prefer my furry friends that are on the floor with me right down there. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. Eleanor Tourette says Massachusetts Senator John Deaton is the biggest holder of BTC of any elected official candidate. His recent financial disclosures show around that 80% of his net worth is in BTC or BTC related investments. State now also owns ETHSOL and XRP. Speaking of XRP, I am happy where we're at price wise. Why? Because you don't have the market dumping XRP 5, 6, 7% like you're seeing in Seoul, like you're seeing in Ton, like you're seeing in Doge, Avalanche, Near. XRP, look at this, down 0.68%, pretty much sideways. The only reason it's lightly in the red because it's down 0.68%. Look at 88, down almost 5%. Litecoin, Matic, Aptos. XLM, piece of dog shit that people have been trading in because no one likes their fucking agenda. And for all the talk of building they do, no one could show any damn fucking change. We're looking at this and we're sitting here going, dude, for real. This pumps big when the market's open and it starts going down when the market's closed. It starts pumping up again and holding big. And when it comes, this thing is like a tea kettle, except you put like duct tape over the lid, man. There, there has been massive amounts of excitement with XRP. And I'm not just talking about like like price and volume and stuff like that, which when you zoom out, you can see like it, it has been healthy. That, that, that's healthy right there. We like that. Um, but we're seeing it also in the socials where XRP is getting a lot of action. I'm not talking about bots either. All right. I'm not talking about like the bots that you see repping other shit. I'm talking about like actual people more people talking about it, more more follows and more shares, more comments and stuff like that. So it, it's not just money, it's interest in general. And we're looking at this as, as Tora's thing being the, the, the whole idea with the duct tape on the pot. She's either just going to let off that steam or this thing is just going to blow by people waiting. And it, Every day that goes by, it's just the day where the anticipation grows. Ooh, is this getting spicy? Because we got to start talking about strategic reserve assets. Yep, a hundred million has been bought for that specific reason. Along with Elizabeth Warren rival John Deaton being a massive crypto whale, but what he owns mostly will shock you. 80% of his portfolio is into one crypto. You think it's XRP? along with XRP price action at the end. Why? Because XRP is looking hot while the rest of the market is red.